Originals? Have you met them? They're rock hard like this. With a creamy, buttery taste that melts in your mouth. Case adjourned while we send out for a packet. So do you think a get off the product placement is a problem? Y yes, I do. By the way, my baby's wearing pampers now. The pampers, you see, that's just the sort of thing I'm talking about. Well, on a more serious note, I do think this week's story has really lost its way. I mean, what's happened to the check shirt man? It's a very confusing court case, and I think the book should be brought into expense. I do. Yes, on a more serious note, there's a very attractive perfume you're wearing. What is it? Baby sex. How are you doing here, Mrs. Check Shirt Man? You know, I... I thought you were in court defending a husband. There's better than a German for more toppers, okay? Well, I say... What do you know? This could be a lucky break. Are you feeling all right, Mrs. Check Shirt Man? I just have too many worthless originals. There's only one man who can help you now, and that's the... F f say that again! Now, you want drugs or something, pal, huh? That's a point, yeah. I think you said something with an F in it. Something with an F in it. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, uh. <clears throat> Hello, Falcon here. Oh, yes. Quite successful. I uh, managed to roll one in the end. Is there an F in Falcon? Of course there is. It's the first letter, you king fool. He'll never help us with the case now. We'll have to try and intercept him. Ah, you pull a stunt like that again, boat time, and I'll come back and smash your face in. And the consequence. Oh, Chief, do we have to play consequences every time we break down? Calling all cars, effing Falcon approaching. Pull in, Falcon. Here goes. Swivel on it, you pussy. Huh. Not again. What do you want, Ducky? I haven't got any roll-ups. Or condoms, if that's what you're after. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I'm not from staggering stores. I was sent by your girlfriend. Yeah, she sends me too. She wanted me to escort you to a restaurant. Oh, well, my big white car's only got two seats. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, you get in the trunk. We finished the Werther's original. <laughs> Order in the court. Get off that chandelier. Proceed. <laughs> so, my dear, good idea of mine to come to this out-of-the-way restaurant where the staggering stories will never find us. Yeah. Would you like an aperitif, or would you rather order straight away? No, I'd like to see the menu. Uh, waiter, can we have a menu, please? And uh, we'd also like a table and some cutlery, thank you. Objection, Your Honor! This is supposed to be a court of law. There's some geek over there ordering cutlery and menus, and the check shirt man's on trial, and we haven't seen him for ages. Could we have some service down here, please? Blondie over there and myself have come a long way, and we haven't even been shown to our table yet, in effect. Oh. Be quiet, Falcon. This is a court of law. You'll have to step down. Proceed with the case. This is outrageous. I demand to see the manager. We were here before any of these people. Well, will you take a look at this guy? He's unbelievable, isn't he? Oh, boy. He doesn't have to stop. What a clown. Hmm. I put it to you that you are the head waiter. Oh, no, sir. I'm a chief witness for the defense, you sir. You lying punts. Well, I... What do you mean? Take my order, or I report you to the manager in effect. The ma I object, Your Honor. This man is supposed to be delivering key evidence, not taking food orders. Oh, the manager, about time. Listen, you crackpot, can we please proceed with the case? We're wasting valuable time. Uh, uh, very, very well, I'll say along. Uh, you are the witness for the defense, is that? Yes, sir. And uh, this is defense you're supposed to witness, is it? Uh, that is correct, sir. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's enough of that. Let's get back to my order. What's the soup du jour? Soup of the day, sir. No, oh, back to the fence again. A stupid man and a, oh, a rather attractive woman and a, a rather unattractive child. Uh, speaking of children, do you do children's portions at all? Uh, look, would it help if I ordered for everybody else? Now, what about a uh, check shirt man who thinks he's a chicken? What would you recommend for him? Uh, well, we could roast them with a few potatoes. Hello, son of check shirt man. How's the court case going? I'm sure your dad's going to get acquitted. No, I don't think so. The case with the defense is so strong. It was until the falcon turned up and started ordering food all the time. So, you, you need someone to help you. Otherwise, your dad's going to swing and holler like a whipped pig. I know just who that man is. It's McFadden. McFadden. He's a drunken bum and he's been struck off and he's let everyone down. Kiwi, faint here. Can I make it back? Yes, I think I'm going faint through. Lack of food. I don't know, look, I don't know what you made of that, but when am I going to get some service around here, ducky? 
I object, Your Honor. If this man wants food, I'll give him a taste of my boot up his jacksie. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I normally get served straight away in a restaurant. I'm just getting abuse here. I wish I could just do something. Why not send out for a takeaway from somewhere like, um, McFadden's Mobile Flying Fish Shop? Marvelous. That's it, McFadden. Hey, head waiter, I'm sending out for a fish supper. Very well. Time for a weather. Welcome to the Staggering Stories Intermission. Ooh. Oh. Copy? Nice to be on screen for a change. Yes, instead of dubbing those silly voices. Ooh. Back to work. Where's McFadden? Must be around here somewhere. There's a flying fish restaurant. There. Phew, what a stink. He's crashing. Let's go down to McDonald's and stand. Save him! Save the Quick. chips before they yeah. get cold! Get me come a on, shovel. boy! I gotta get some pickled eggs! Got in those battery uh, Come bits. on! I'm sorry, gentlemen. Dr. McFadden has been battered unconscious. The chips are off. Ask him if they do bad. You ask him. You ask him. You're the chief. Shut up! It's is. I'm starving here! Well, what have you found? Yoo-hoo. Are you deaf? McFadden's Jordan sample. Very strange. It seems to be mutating in some strange way. Never seen anything quite like it. Uh, you take a look. I've just had lunch. Very strange indeed. Hmm. <laughs> oh. It's a criminal gene. He's found it. McFadden's isolated the criminal gene in his own wee wee. Hmm. Dr. McFadden and uh, his assistant uh, here mm. on my right uh, managed to grow mm. this um, criminal gene to an enormous size, which he sold in his mm. fish restaurant. Uh, well, yes. Uh, as you can see, uh, this part of the gene is involved with robbery, uh, this part mm -hmm. with fraud, uh, shoplifting here. Oh, yes. Uh, ITV situation comedy around the back, I on the bum. Um, uh, just turn it in, and you can see at the top yes. here we have a uh, car crime section. Oh, yes. Left of cars and inside cars. Yes. Uh, the little aerial here, which yes. I'm, I'm holding. Wobbly thing. Yes. Uh, that's mm. motivating the multifarious removal of I car see. radios. Just waggle it for oh, you there. That is not what I ordered, in effect. There are no chips with it, and um, that's not a fillet. So, there we have it. We don't uh, blame criminals, we just blame their genes. Marvellous. So I shall be sending you back and ordering a burger. I don't know how to gonna make this tie up. Oh, take a look at this. He's gonna take a pop at the judge yeah. now. Yeah. That's how to be fine. Uh. Only may I say that I shall never eat at this establishment again. Egon Ronne will be receiving a letter. The service has been appalling. The waiter's rude and uh, I will not be leaving a tip, ducky. <clears throat> <clears throat> In the line of McFadden's evidence, we find Check Shirt Man not guilty. <laughs> Please stop following us around. I want to chat up this young lady. Okay, right. That was wonderful, Falcon. Staggering stories didn't have you fooled for a minute, pretending the court was a restaurant. You knew all along. Uh, did I? Yes, I suppose I did, yes. That means they won and you lost. Yes, I'm very upset, actually, and um, I'm going to need a damn good windmilling to get over it. Oh, yeah. Now let's get him. Yes! <laughs> oh, what are you going, Hammerhead? Admit it. You tricked me into appearing in the show. No, no, I'm just a researcher. I have no power to get anyone into this show. Would you read out the witness's testimony, please? Memo to producers. We've got the Falcon in the courtroom and he thinks it's a restaurant and he's given us all a really good laugh. So, you made this restaurant look like a courtroom to fool me, did you? Yes. Yes, I did. I... You tricked me, didn't you? Yes, but I was only acting. Acting on orders. <laughs> Broadcast this bird and I'll shoot you! Well, there's original break. Do you want to sign Sally with that Falcon? Um, uh, 